Welcome back, everybody, for one more Vintage Cube Draft here on magicthegathering.com slash email dot turtles. We have a couple, still a couple more stipulations in the queue, so I'm going to actually Dad, pick the stipulation that we're doing. Yes, Berts. <laughs> yes, Beats. Have you seen my doppelganger? What is even happening in the <laughs> these donations, my dude? All right, so I'm going to actually wait until we open our first pack to try and decide which stipulation we're going to be doing, because I think that's a lot easier than... Being like, yeah, we're going to do the upheaval stipulation right now. It's good to have upheaval. And then you've never seen upheaval and you're like, turns out we're not doing the upheaval stipulation. It's super awkward. So there's a couple different ones that require different strategies. So we're going to... What was that noise I just heard? Is that Hunter? Did Hunter just growl? It sounded like he growled, but he's not a growler, so... <sighs> Well, four out of eight is weird. This seems like a seems like a low amount, my friends. Five out of five out of eight. All right. Well, we're just sitting here, guys. We're just hanging out. Uh, I would. So if I could have, if I had four sitcoms, like sitcoms, in quotes that I could watch uh, on repeat, it would be Seinfeld, The Office, Parks and Rec, and Curb. Those would be my four that I would just watch on repeat. Oh yeah, Hunter's Wine and for sure in there. So we have Brown Town, Reanimate, and Wildfire, and all creatures must be, and Thick Boys, all creatures must be four or more. Let's take the Basalt Monolith and try to do Brown Town. I'm going to give it a couple picks before I enter it into the chat. Because it might not work. I just want to make sure we're in we're in shape. Is already a Signet? All right. All right. I think we can do it. All right. We're going to try it. We're going to hope it works out. Brown Town Stip. Uh, five Vita Pixel Loud, Lance for fixing Dark Towns of Vino. Also, we push back for better key art. So, that's, that part's not relevant. relevant. All right. And we're going to take Azorius Signet here. Now we got a Gruel Signet. I do like an Ashiok. Tezzeret's probably pretty good in the Brown Town Stip, though. So, let's probably take the Tezzeret. Kozilek is brown. Tezzeret's. Brown city, though. Ooh, Jitte's brown. Tex will wheel. Is it Oblivion? Oblivion Stone blows up all our artifacts. I'm going to take the Jitte here. It's still brown. It still counts for artifacts if you want to, like, Metalworker. It still, like, does all the things. I'm really not a big Oblivion Stone fan just because it, uh... Well, you guys know why. Because it's used in Tron? Yeah, I mean, that's probably one of the reasons that I dislike it. Tron's not a cool deck. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? You said the words. What did I say? What did I say?
Emrakul is a uh, Ankle Leviathan. Search layer for it. Well, that's never getting into play. We can tinker for this. We can't tinker for this. I think we're taking this based on like getting a tinker, perhaps. M M M M, please. Why, why though? Like we're not gonna be able to cast it, and we're not necessarily red. I'm gonna take the inkwell. Like inkwell just goes better with all these all the artifacts. Like if we get blightsteel as well, we just want to be able to tinker. Thank you. I do like an ancestral vision, not as much as like an ancestral recall, but it's still pretty good. Remember when Frank was cool and would take Emrakul? To Exodus, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. That's true. It can't be equipped with Jitte. Tangle wire. Tangle wire seems great with things like Jitte or you know, things like that. Thank you. Tangle wire or uh J Oh god, Emrakul with Jitte. What what am I saying? Uh Shroud does basically mean narc. That's what we're going for. Ash, what's going on? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Seven months, really appreciate it. Alright, well we are doing the uh the Brown Town stipulation right now, my dudes. Thank you. ML Cool G, thank you so much for the resub. And Tumbleweed, thank you so much for the resub. You guys are great. I really you. appreciate you both. Um, We could just take Wasteland here. And if we get like a Crucible, it's pretty sweet. None of these other cards are exciting. Doretti is pretty good for the artifact deck, right? I mean, it's it, it takes us off blue and puts us in black or red, which is kind of obnoxious. I think I'd rather just have the Wasteland. Yeah, I'm just taking Wasteland here. Well, this pack's pretty bad for the Artifact deck, unfortunately. Considering we have an Azorius Signet, I'll just take the Council's Judgment. Stoneforge Mystic, not terrible here. I mean, we get already have a Jitte that we can search for. Oblivion Ring, also an option. Kozilek came back. Well, that's pretty cool. That's actually real sweet. What if the Emrakul comes back? It'll never come back, but... Eh, Oblivion Stone, whatever. Make like Kenny Rogers and take Bob? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a I'm a big music fan, but I have no idea what that even means. Grim Monolith. Oh, boy. Oh, butter my biscuits. That's a good one. That's a good one. I don't get, like, cube, I think vintage cube of all cubes is the one I get most excited about where I'm just, like, I just say the most ridiculous stuff when I get excited.
What up, dear dad? Rolo Tony Brown Town. I don't, I don't know what you're saying right now. I think you're actually drunk. I do like a Rakdos signet here. Is there anything better than the Rakdos signet? I don't think so. I mean, it's off color, but I don't think it matters. Yeah, it's it's whatever. Oh, balance is interesting. Balance doesn't care about your artifacts. Time spiral, interesting. Soulfire Grandmaster, interesting if we get uh, time walk. I need more payoffs. I don't have any ramp yet, though. I mean, like, we only have Basalt Model and Grim Model. Like, I think this is enough payoffs for the, for the limited amount of ramp we have right now. I think it's I think balance is super strong. Fractured identity is super strong. Yeah, that's a nice payoff. This Azorius Signet's really carrying most of our I mean we're we're basically a white blue deck, so I'm not super upset about it. Ravages of War. It might just be Ravages of War here. Ramming up Excavator is actually pretty cool with uh, Wasteland. Yeah, we'll go with Ravages here. I don't know if we're going to play it, guys. Because I get I get a little anxious about playing some Ravages of War, but it's still pretty good. Uh, Vindicate I like a lot. Path is fine. Thalia is not okay. I think it's either Disallow or Path. I think it's probably Path here. Thank you. The Urchai. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I want to go Path Exile, let them search for a land, and then, then Ravages of War. Caracas is interesting. Relic of Progenitus is actually just an artifact for us. The problem is we don't have any artifact payoffs right now. I guess Tezzeret's pretty good. You go Tezzeret, untap your, your two Monoliths. That's pretty gas. Also, Sun Titan could be a pretty decent late game card that gets, gets back any of these cards after they kill it. Ravages of War, more like Armageddon, am I right? You actually are correct. That is correct. The problem is this dip says five veto picks allowed, but I don't think this is actually a veto. I don't think, like, I think we're still brown town just because we're not taking the relic, right? I, I mean, I'll, I'll use this as a as a veto, I guess. I don't know, like, I don't know if we've, if we've vetoed anything else before, though. Because we only actually have, like, four non-artifact cards, so. I'm going to take animate dead, I guess. Nothing in this pack is super exciting. Hollowed fountain seems great. Is that a veto over Hangerback Walker, though? No, that's a land. That never counts. Yeah, we want a Hollow Fountain here. Opposition. We don't really have the setup for Opposition here. Nor do we have a Leshnorn or Gideon Jura. I think Opposition is the most possible that we play it because... And we could get the Spectral Procession. We could get uh, Mirror Battle Sphere. I think this is the strongest card. Yeah, I like Soulfire Grandmaster. None of these cards are very good. Nah, Sword is a brown card. Thalia is playable. Hollow? I don't know what that means. What are you saying right now? M -m 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 mox rubles Dak Faden's also gas in this queue, but I mean we could take the Mox Ruby and then the Dak Faden will come back, so that's pretty cool. Definitely just taking Mox Ruby here. 
not even really close. And then someone's going to pass us another Mox because they opened a Lotus. That didn't happen, but that's okay. Uh, it's probably Batter Skull, especially when we have Stoneforge Mystic, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're definitely thinking Batter Skull. Now we have Jitte and Stoneforge for Batter Skull. And it goes with our Mono Brown theme, boys. No, no Mono Browns in this pack. Counterspell, though, is pretty darn good. Volcanic Island doesn't really help us play anything, so I don't really care about it. Elspeth is also nice with opposition, but I don't... Meh. Yeah, we're just going to take Counterspell, I think. Celestial Colonnade is nice. Um, I think we want to take this over the Golgari Signet, especially because we have Counterspell now. Come on, let's get some good let's get some good artifact. Oh, Warn Power Stone. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, that's sweet. I actually don't know if this deck is any good, but I really like how it's looking. Uh we're gonna put the Council's Judgment in here because I think it's very, very good. We can also put Ravages of War in here for funsies. We have a lot of artifact mana so far. I think you need a card, draw. Spell. Is Thirst still in this cube? Yeah, for sure. Wrath of God seems great. This definitely seems like a Wrath of God deck. I don't think Spell Queller is as good as Wrath of God. We're going to take the Wrath of God. So this is our 23 so far. Don't we have a card draw spell? I think it's called Kaza like Butcher of Truth, my dude. I want to take out Sword of War and Peace, actually. I, didn't, I forgot that was in the deck. That's good. Now we get an extra card. Also, Soulfire Grandmaster and... Uh, yeah, I guess nothing, really. Mind Slaver. That's pretty solid. I think they took Academy Ruins out. This is also nine cards, so like we only get to see one more pack before. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're definitely taking Mind Slayer. I think it's better than Rookling Cloudskate, and it's mono brown, so. <sighs> Academy Runes is still in. That's pretty sweet. Oh, the new Gideon is in this cube. That's great. Oh, that's sick. I, I like that there's both now. Do I just take this Gideon? It's not Plateau. I don't care about Port. Disenchant's pretty cute. So is Miscalc. But I think Gideon's probably just really strong, especially if we can get like a Jitte on it. Mono Browns. There's no browns in this pack, so I feel okay. Oh, the other Gideon just is like, hey, buddy, you looking at me? Oh, I like Ancient Tomb a lot. I like Ancient Tomb better than Windswept Heath. Windswept Heath is, is nice because it gets our Hollowed Fountain, so it is a dual land, but that's an Ancient Tomb, so. We can also play Gideon on three, Wrath of God on turn four, and then attack. That's pretty cool. I want to take Banishing Light here. That's a good card, okay. Baneslayer, you're fine. I 
We do need one cut here. I don't know what it's going to... Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Biscuits and gravy. No, oh, Jace is good. That's playable. Oh, wow. The two, the other two cards I was considering come back. Sure. All right. Now we got some cuts to make, guys. Lock them up. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, I don't even know what to cut here. Maybe Tangle Wire? Soulfire Grandmaster is pretty meh. Tempted to cut Tangle Wire. We also have five creatures and a Gideon, which is like six creatures, and a Batter Skull, which is kind of like seven creatures. We could cut Inqua Leviathan. I don't know the odds of us actually casting this card. We don't really have a way to cheat it into play. We could cut a Ravages of War, dude. I don't know if we're playing Ravages of War. It is a real, like... It's a real oppressive card. Do we just got balance? I don't know if I like balance that much, actually. Is Jitte useful? If you equip it to a creature, it's very, very good. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. Because balance is like, we can't get rid of our own lands, really. I think any deck that has creatures in it is a Gideon deck. This Gideon's hard to deal with, man. Right? It also attacks. And it protect. Hmm. Hmm. Every deck is a Gideon deck if you try hard enough. That's what I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about. I don't think balance is sick with artifact ramp because the artifact ramp isn't making us play fewer lands. Like we're still gonna go land, land, artifact, land, artifact, balance. Like and then like we have three lands and they have three lands. Just because we have more artifact ramp doesn't mean we have fewer lands. I mean, if we had a way to sacrifice our lands, like if we went Ravages of War, well, then the lands are gone anyway. You recover faster? But, I mean, like... I mean, you're not recovering, though, because your lands aren't getting destroyed. You know what I mean? Like... I can see cutting Inkle Leviathan. Kozlek is pretty nice if you can just ramp into this dude. Yeah, alright. This will be the deck. Seven. Six, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Mm -hmm, in the world today, I don't know what it is. I think this is fine. I could see cutting the wasteland and adding other island. I actually kind of like that. Maybe. Um, I just want to make sure we have... I guess we don't... I want to make sure we have, an, like, a white on turn one for this. Or blue on turn one for this. We have double white, double white, double white, double blue, double blue, double blue. Yeah, I think this is fine. Cut Mox overrated. Get out. Banned. 
band. Dak Faden, the greatest narc in the multi. Hey man, Dak Faden's dead. Can you guys press F in the chat for to, to show some respects to Dak Faden? Oh yes, oh yes, excellent. I shall keep. I'm real tempted to, to play the remastered Elder Scrolls, uh, to play remastered Skyrim for some reason. I'm just having a hankering to play through that story. Oh, maybe I play The Witcher. Oh, The Witcher is good too. I haven't finished either of those games, oddly enough. Oh god, we're dead. <laughs> well, we had a good run, guys. What'd you get? Ulamog? Huh. Yep. That is a thing. Let's play this. Let's see how fast we're dead. Gonna exile 20 cards from you. I don't know what it is. Pretty sure that we're dead. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Living on the edge. Is there any way out of this? Nope. <laughs> we had a good run. I had a fun game. I feel like Banishing Light comes in with that idiot. Balance could be good for creatures. Could be a two mana Wrath of God here. You know what? Sure, I'll keep it. Let me get that land on top. Oh, yes. Well, they didn't just... They didn't add him to the story just to kill him off. Like, it's not like they were like, let's add this character with the intent of killing him. I mean, that's just how characters work. I mean, ideally, we hit a land next turn so that we can put something into play and suspend this guy. Oh, really? Fascinating. That's pretty good. That's what we want to do. Suspend this dude.
This is where they're gonna like, oh, free discard. I almost want to put Jitte into play. I think it's actually stronger than Batterskull here. And if we don't hit a land, we can't equip Jitte. But we want to be able to kill this, because if we kill this, then... Um, then if we balance... Yeah, they still get to keep a guy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is hard. Shieldred. Let me guess. You going to reanimate that? Actually, if they make a sacrifice this, we're in good shape to balance there. They did not. Hmm. Hmm. Perfectly balanced. A oh, bye bye. Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna not gonna balance now. In Tomb Bay, okay. Okay. Oh, my only regret about Witcher Three is that I will never have the chance to play it for the first time again. That's a that's a good. That's a good endorsement. It's a game I have and I've had for a while. And I just haven't played. Argyle's blood fast. Hmm. I still haven't played Red Dead either. Man, I am so behind in games. The reason is because I stream Magic for like six to seven hours a day, and when I'm done, I'm like, I just don't want to play video games right now. There's a vampire in Red Dead? That's actually pretty cool. Are you going to counter my Batter Skull? Are we going to feel real bad about this? No, you're just going to draw a card. You should play Dig Dug. It's the new hotness. Is it? Uh, do you play Magic in your off time for fun through the weekend? I feel like you know this, but not really. Sometimes, like, Rob's like, hey, you want to go to FNM or you want to play in this Saturday event? And I'm like, not really. It's, like, the last thing I want to do because I just play it for 20 hours a week, 30 hours a week. Like, it just gets a... I, I mean, I'm just, like, at a point where I'm like, eh. Yep. Everybody saw that coming. So we can sack this, return the batter skull to our hand, and play balance. Actually, we could just fractured gust this. Fracturing. Yeah, that actually seems really good, too. That's the other card in our hand, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to sack the Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> good choice. Rob's been red dead for 25 years. I'm 
Rob just wants you as his friend to come hang out with him. Now, I actually, we've had this conversation before. I'm like, dude, if you want to hang out, I'm definitely down for hanging out. But can we do something other than magic? Let's go see a movie. Let's go, you know, do non-magic things. Can you move that badge about 150 pixels north or south so we can see the most recent event log? Oh my god, really? This is how you're going to be? What if I did this? Oh no. This seems like bad news bears. They have two cards in hand. Here comes Emrakul. <laughs> Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine permanents. We're gonna have to sacrifice six of them. We get to keep three permanents. We're gonna keep two lands and shieldred. And then we're gonna balance your face, you stupid idiot. Now we keep one land and shieldred. Or one land and a mox. Uh let's Gain two, gain two, gain two. Um, sack you, sack you. That's one, two, three, four. No, three. No blocks. Oh, we get to draw cards. Oh man, I really don't want to draw cards this turn. <laughs> That's so awkward. And we have to sack our creatures too? No, this is worse. I don't care about all that then. We're probably just not going to do it then. Yeah, forget that. <laughs> I'll just attack for six and hope I can kill you next turn. Yeah, we could make them draw, but then, like, we're still... I mean, they're still gonna... They still get to pick the two best cards out of all of their cards. Why is your chat box so... Because I just want to have... I want to have long, interactive conversations. Alternatively, I could make it longer so that it goes all the way down. Oh my god, did you really hit something else? Because that's pretty impressive if you just drew like Emrakul again. Oh my fucking god. The luck on this guy. Oh, Annihilator 4, and I have exactly 4 permanents. Fantastic. Cool. I mean, they don't have anything, so we could go land, land, balance. <laughs> For all the good that does. It does none good. I mean, they're welcome to refill with Bloodfast if they just... I mean, they can only draw, like, one more card with it. Oh, we're at two? That's cool. That's super cool. I'm having a good time. Hooray. Well, that was sad. Oh, 
Rob keeps tagging me in these weird Facebook videos. Today it's like from the 80s. It's like from the 70s or 80s Spider-Man TV show. And it's like the Amazing Spider-Man's most epic fight scene. And yesterday it was like Thor versus Hulk from the old uh, Hulk TV show. <laughs> he just like tags me in them. Oh man, it cracks me up, dude. <laughs> oh god. Rob, would you want to go to play FNM at shortstops this weekend? On Friday? Can you do that? I know you're busy on Saturday, but... I figure we alternate. We can go sometimes to your neck of the woods, sometimes my neck of the woods. I have a game on Friday. All right. Game on Friday and game on Saturday, huh? Cool, dude. Real cool friendship we got here. Are you at least coming to hang out and stream with me at some point? Or, or are we just not even friends anymore? I don't know. You tell me, bro. You tell me about our friendship because I don't understand where it is right now. Wow, this guy's got more brown than we do right now. Oh, less brown. Three days in a row? Oh my god. I can't with this. I'm, I'm quitting. Way to sound like a woman? That's a shitty thing to say. Don't say that. Don't say bullshit like that. So if we play... I guess we play Island, because we're not playing anything this turn, but Island lets us play... Uh, Tezzeret next turn, and then the front turn after that we can we can play uh, Wrath of God. The one time Frank wants to do magic stuff outside of stream, he gets turned down. Now we know why he doesn't want to go to after. Yeah, I don't want to get turned down. I don't want Rob to be like rejected. Why? Why don't say sexist thing like you sound like a woman? Uh, because it's sexist and shitty. Come on, dude. Come on, Terror. I I know you're I I. I know I'd have to explain that to you. Yeah, they don't have anything on board. We'll just play... We'll play Tezzer Roots. Do we search for an artifact? What can we get? Oh, we get a 3-drop for sure. We get, like, a uh, Worn Power Stone or something. Oh, no, we can get Grim Monolith. Keep Tezzeret a little bit stronger. I keep him stronger. Zero is Mox. But next turn we can go add three. Uh, next turn we can just we can cast Kozilek if we get Grim Monolith. So that's pretty cool. Apparently in this day and age, I have to submit everything in writing for approval before saying it. No, you don't. Just the literal one thing. Literally fucking one thing, dude. One thing was criticized, and it was literally saying a, like, what was, okay, so wait, wait, you said, let's, let's, let's break it down. Way to sound like a woman. What exactly did I say that sounded like a woman? I just want to say, I want to, I want it broken down. I just want it broken down. I want to, I want to know exactly what I said that sounded like a woman. I just wanted that's it. You're going to have to wait 600 seconds. Like it's just bullshit. Like if you really don't understand how that's a sexist shitty thing to say, then like I don't know how to explain it to you. And yeah, if, if like most, if like you're just going to say shitty things, then yeah, submit it in writing. How about that?
Maybe you said my bra is uncomfortable. I guess that would be, that would sound, that would make me sound like a woman who had an uncomfortable bra. This is fine. You can have this guy. I'll just round the god. Thank you. And I agree with Mozart, yeah. But generally, you don't have to explain why you don't want certain things said in your chat. It was a calm and respectful warning. Right, like, I mean, it's my it's my stream, right? Like, so if I don't appreciate you saying something, just don't say it, that's all. You don't have to be shitty about it. You don't have to double down on your shittiness and be like, apparently I have to submit everything in writing. You don't. You know you don't. And if you think you do, then, like, you're just being hyperbolic. Like, you're being a bigger baby than anybody. Give me a way to steal, destroy this treachery so I can get my dude back. I want my dude back. I hope they play another big fat idiot creature so I can wipe the board and feel good about it. It just doesn't seem hard to not generalize against a certain demographic of people negatively, like derogatorily generalize against the specific gen demographic. It doesn't seem difficult for me. So when people seem to have such an issue with it, like, this is so hard to do. I can't not say something that that is def defamatory. In inflam uh, defamatory? Is de defamatory? What's the word I'm looking for? Wow, Coligon's command, killing Jitte and Tezzeret. That's pretty good. Like, it just blows my mind. I'm like, why is this so difficult for you? It's not, I don't know if I was looking for inflammatory. Incendiary works too, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana, four of which we can just play Basalt Model and the Wrath of God and keep a path, I guess. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, we want to use, uh, we want to keep up a white, so. We'll do it like this. We'll go Wrath. Oh, we actually have to play a land to do that. Oh, and our, our Sun Titan gets worse now, so that's unfortunate. Disparaging works. Yeah, I mean, you guys get the point. Uh, I, sh I don't have to explain it. Money. Kretz Jr., $5. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. I also have your stip in the queue. A fun wildfire or upheaval deck. Upheaval and wildfires must be taken. Everything else is your choice. That is hilarious because that was a while ago. That was a good amount of time. Vitalkin Ori? Yeah, that's that's the one we're looking for. It sucks because I've never had an issue with Terror before. Like, Terror has been super cool and always been a, a pretty cool follower, but like... It sucks that I can't literally make one request in my chat and be like, hey man, just don't say anything derogatory towards any 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 specific demographic, sexist, racist, what have you. And then once I make this respectful, like, civil request, it's like, oh, now I gotta get everything in writing. N no, you don't, dude. You don't have to be all edgy about it. Like, you don't have to do that. That's silly that you would say that. Like, but, you know, you do have to respect the fact that you're in someone else's, like, area general area anyway that pissed me off i feel bad now but one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve mana so we can go six and still attack that's pretty good i do kind of want to oh we can actually here we go here we go one two three four five Actually, let's go one, two, three, four, five. Attack with this guy. Because if they end up killing this, I want to get it back with Sun Titan. I guess we can't. Yes, we can. So I want to attack. And then path. And you can bounce it to your hand if you like. That's totally fine. Yep. I just, I get irritated because I don't want to fight with people who are supportive of me. Like, hey man, I appreciate you supporting the content. I appreciate you hanging out in the stream all the time. Like, I do appreciate that. It's super cool. 
So I hate like, you know, having uh, disagreements with people who do support the channel, right? Because it's like, that sucks. Am I going to lose you as a supporter now because we had this disagreement? It's a weird feeling where I'm like, I either get your support and you get to say whatever you want and I don't have any control over it or I have, or I get to control, you know, I have, I have some, I exercise some semblance of control over the things that are said. Uh, and then I, you know, lose your support. You know, it's a weird, it's a, it's a, it's a really awkward tension for someone who's trying to, to, to stream for a living, you know? Or trying to any, you know, trying to create content of any sort, really. I agree. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, if, if your support is dependent on me allowing you to say whatever you want and not taking any issue with it whatsoever, then that's not a choice. That's not really, uh, you're not going to win that battle. Frank, would it make you feel better if I timed out Rob? Um, yeah, I think so. Oh, this is awkward because if we cast this, they just bounce their palancron. And then we have to choose one of these dudes. But I guess we do get in there for like a lot, right? I agree. What you gain is greater than what you lose. I, I, think, uh, I think John Lennon said it best. The love you take is equal to the love you make. Actually, that was probably Paul McCartney. <laughs> Who's John Lemon? Oh, you know, old John Lemon. What is it, six? This is ten. It puts them to four, and then it forces them to block here. I think that's okay. C -c -c council's judgment Paul Cheon no Paul McCartney no one even said Paul Cheon it's not like I said something that sounded like Cheon just stop it I think I think a cryptic command bounce this guy counter this that'd be so good oh wow all right we're voting for this guy <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna resolve I thought they would respond by bouncing this because they knew we'd choose it but here we are. That guy died. That guy took a little fall. Now I'm going to attack for 10,000 damage. I went to see that movie about the guy who wakes up and everyone else but him has forgotten about the Beatles. Is that a real movie? That sounds amazing. It's like, hey man, remember the Beatles? No, who can they? What are you serious? No one knows. Why did you just time out Mutz? What did you time out Mutzart for? What did Mutzart do? It was probably something memey because it was only for one second. But I actually don't even know what the message was. He voted for the signet? Oh, that's not how that works at all. Oh, that's gas. Yeah, they apparently they voted for Simic Signet. Nope, that doesn't work the way you want it to work. Mozart, what did you say? <laughs> I'm really curious. Oh man. Paul Chian is often called the 15th be the 50 the 15th Beetle? That's pretty impressive. One. Hydroid Crest is for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's fine. Why not eight? Oh, because you preordained. Sure. So you can actually block here. I think they're blocking here and here. Which is fine. Because they have to block Sun Titan. I guess they could double block Sun Titan. But then they go to two and we still have Celestial Colony on the board. What do you think about As Foretold Rebalance deck? I actually like the As Foretold like, other decks better. I, I think Restore Balance is one of my least... Uh, the cards I want to do... I want least to... Uh, 
to cast. Just because I think it's so hard, it's hard to set up, and like the payoff is 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 big, but it's not enjoyable. Right, like I don't enjoy casting restore balance because I'm like, okay, sack all your things. <coughs> and that's not to say it's bad by any means. Don't get me wrong. It's just I uh, I would rather do more fun things. What are they playing? Like blue, blue greenish. So 15 bucks for you to play the deck. I'd still play it. And then we'd end up transforming it. I'd be like, let's put some Ancestor Visions in here. Let's put some Living Ends in here. And then it turns into a totally different deck. No, for real though, I'd still totally play it. Um, I think we're fine. I don't think we're like, I didn't see anything that I'm like super. I think it's fine. <laughs> All right, we're keeping this hand. That seems good. Could we just Tangle Wire into like Ravages of War? That seems broken. Give me that Azorius Signet. I said give me the Azorius Signet. All right, that's fine. Visions is in the deck. We're halfway there, buddy. We are halfway there. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, oh, that's, well, that's nice. I'd almost rather do that. But not really, because next turn we can just do that and go, uh, we can go Tangle Wire and, and Ancestral Visions. So that's okay. How's Cube Life so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Ravages. Oh, that's not going to work the way we think it works. All right, we're going to go blue. Oh, God, what are you doing in response? Oh, God, are you going to, like, what are you doing? Just stop it. Are you going to braid this? Are you braiding my tangle wire? Oh, you're gonna repeal it. Okay, that's fine. Odds of container priest being a modern horizon horizon's pretty high, I would imagine. Oh, uh, there are War of the Spark cards in in the in the cube now. Stop playing Signets when I got Ravages of War in hand, man. Come on. I'm just stuck drawing these lands with the Ravages. This is why I hate Ravages of War. Are you going to ice one of my lands? Vendillion click, sure. Are you going to take my Tangle Wire? Because I don't actually care at this point. You're ahead. You're way ahead. How do I get the deck list? Crutch Junior, check my um, check my information. There's a there's a there's info in the Twitch profile. You can just email me. Oh, I kind of like Grim Monolith and Ravages of War. No, I don't. We don't have any blue or white. Also, if you donate, donate as a as friends and family, so then I don't have to pay fees. That definitely helps. Thank you. David Styles, one year. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. We can go Ravages of War, play a land. I actually kind of like that because then we can just go Grim Monolith next turn. But then we lose Celestial Colonnade, but they have three cards. And then they still keep two lands. I think that's actually fine. <laughs> Oh, 
Living on a prayer, draw some cards, resolving, I swear. That feels like it's still a million years away. So now we can play double blue or double white spells next turn. I like it. I like it. Signets. Signets everywhere. I like that we did Ravages of War and then we're going to Path to Exile this, this Mendelian click. Or not. What else you got? This is a good recovery. Okay, anything but Emrakul and we're good. Gristlebrand. Well, this is better. Like, they're going to draw seven here. It sucks. Do they draw seven more? Are they going to go to, like, five? I mean, it's whatever. We get to draw three next turn, so it's basically the same thing. We have eight mana to work with next turn, which is nice. They are tapped out. As long as they don't have Forcible in their deck, right? Am I right? Okay, okay. Okay. So with five, six, seven, eight, nine, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Nine? Oh, we do have nine. We can actually play Batter Skull. Hmm. We can go one, two, three, four, five, Batter Skull. Mox. Ruins. Jitte. Equip Jitte. And we have Academy Ruins to just put the Jitte, or put the uh, anything back on top. Slaver would be gas. They'd be dead. I mean, we don't have nearly enough mana to, like, consistently keep looping it, but in the long run, it's good. Yep, that's pretty good. So if we get it back, we have one, two, three mana to work with. That doesn't seem as good. Yeah, I expected more than six, too. I didn't know it was that low. That is pretty low. Here's one of them. Man, that balance would be great right here. Did we board that in? No. Okay. I feel like Baneslayer is probably a card we want. Sure. I, we should have discarded this, kept the planes, I think. Putting Batter Skull on top doesn't do anything. We take five and then we probably die. Yep, that's worse. Although we can play that and then keep up mana for Batter Skull next turn. Although I'm not sure how good that is. Like, because you take five and then we go to three and then we just lose to this. Yeah, I'm just going to go to the next. Eh, we're not dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We don't actually have enough mana for Kozilek either. Blastone, Nickel Bolas, Lily Edict, Black Finale, Vivian, and Gideon are the six. Those are a weird six. All 
All right, we're done. Yeah, we don't have an answer for this. I guess wa watch us. Well, even if we top that Grotha guy, we don't have a second white, so. Yeah, Sun Titan missing the second white. What's your question? What's your number one pack one pick one for War of the Spark? Uh, are you talking about in like if there was a vintage cube or in, in the set? In just War of the Spark draft. Are we talking about like all 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 cards like no like I could open mythics Got to be honest, I do like Bane Slayer in the deck. I don't think I Ravage the War. It just doesn't seem great. Oh my god. Top rare, mythic, uncommon, common. Know what I mean? Yes, I, I think I know what you mean. Oh, mythic rare is just one. Just one, either mythic or rare. That's a good... I mean, that's that's a hard question. I actually don't know off the top of my head. Common, I think it's just Obnixilus' Cruelty. I think it's it's not particularly close. Uh, uncommon... I'll work my way up because I think the rares are going to be harder because there's just a lot more competition. I'm going to look at a list. Let's look up set or the spark. Uncommons search. Uh, I don't think Ashiok is very good in Limited, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm never impressed with Ashiok. Evolution Sage is very good. Shut up and take my money. I don't know if he's my top common, though. Let's play some creds. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Was was hoping you'd send that as friends and family, though, because I mentioned it. But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I accept it. Um, Arlen's very good. Uh, Angrath is very good. Eternal Skylord is very, very good. Are they... What's the hold up here? I have not had Ashok close out any games for me. Usually he'll just mill like 20 cards, and then they'll still have 20 cards, and you'll just be like, okay, let's play a normal game of Magic now. Kretz, I think in order to donate as friends and family, you actually have to go through PayPal. You just have to go through PayPal. It can't be, it's, it can't be a donation on the stream. You just have to PayPal me, basically. And the reason I do that is because, like, I pay fees for all the stuff that goes through stream. So if you guys do, like, stipulations or um, uh, deck critiques and stuff, like, I, I definitely prefer it to go through PayPal as friends and family. <clears throat> because over the course of a year, the, the fees do add up. But it's not a huge deal. Like, it's not something I'm going to be, like, I'm not, it's not, it's totally fine. Oh, we got a Numazawa Jitse. Blade Splicer. Dang it. Yeah, no worries. No worries, my dude. Yeah, Vraska also very good as well, I think. Um I don't think there is I don't think there's a clear cut uncommon best pick. I think there's a lot of very strong uncommons in the set. I think Ral's Outburst is another one. Prison Realm also very, very good. Yeah, that's fine. Baby shark. Got it. Kretz, I got it. Uh, nothing here. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Why does the Baby Shark song stuck in my head, guys? Can you answer me that? <clears throat> I 
I'm actually kind of tempted to just kill this because they're missing land drops. Are they not? No, they, they didn't miss a land drop yet. But they didn't have anything to do on four other than this. So I'm tempted to just get rid of this and then slam a Bane Slayer. I don't know if they'll have that many answers to it. This seems bad otherwise, though. I guess we also have Fractured Identity, so even if they play something, we can Fracture Identity or Bane Slayer. Our hand is, our hand, like, is actually pretty good uh, based on the amount of pressure they have right now. If they go Red Source Sneak Attack, uh, Gristle Brand, that'd be pretty bad. That's fine. If you want a piano cover of Baby Shark, I got you. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm good without. But Bill, I do appreciate it, buddy. I do appreciate it. I, I definitely don't think Sahili is the best uncommon. I think she's very good. But like Sahili's a card. Like I'm talking about, like best uncommon. You have to like you want to top deck this card, and be very far. You're like I'm gonna. All right, I'm far ahead now. Or, like, it either brings you back in the game, or it, like... Kaya is also very good. Yeah, for some reason I miss Kaya. Like, there's a lot of cards that are just, like, these are... The, the uncommons are very good. I think Kazmina is very good. Like, getting two 2-2s two for four mana, and two loots, and then still having a Planeswalker on board. Like, I think it's actually very hard to choose. With the, also, Grateful Apparition is utterly insane in the format, so... There's a lot of extremely strong... Two, two, twos? Yeah. There's a lot of st extremely strong uncommons in this set. Oh, they took our Batter Skull? Man, you rude. We can actually fracture identity, our, identity, our own Batter Skull. Oh, Blade Splicer. I believe you can get me through the night. Yeah, Bane Slayer with the Jitte. Kill that thing. <clears throat> Tempted to get rid of Batter Skull. I mean, it's just like... It's just that it's, we can't return it after that point. We can also get rid of the Gaunti. I'm going to do a War Drop. Why would you do that? But the cube is up. I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather fracture Gaunti because they're both going to trade. And like if this if they ever accidentally return this, it goes to our hand. And if it dies, then we get to I guess it's never gonna die, right? They just lose this and they get to germ. God, I just wish it didn't. I'd rather just counsel's judgment though. Maybe they'll uh, maybe they'll choose them correctly again. They did not. We all voted for Batter Skull. Fascinating. Oh, they targeted themselves. Whew, thank goodness. I got some good cards in here. Oh, they discarded their negate. Nice. So long, negate. Yep, Kiara is also very, very good. Like I said, man, there's there's a lot of War of the Spark uncommons that are just super powerful. Oh man, Stoneforge, come on. That's just sad. We don't want to fracture and gust anything here, so fracturing identity, not fracturing gust. Totally different card. Think Paul's been secretly making Blue better and better each iteration. Um, 
No, not really. Ink eyes. I kind of want to fracture your identity that. Or we can just actually kill it with our Jiate. Oh, they're just dead. <laughs> we just actually swing with Colonnade, Bane Slayer, and Pump twice. Yeah, this card's this our deck's kinda sweet. I mean we 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 lost our first round pretty handily, but I think we're doing alright now. I mean, because they took out Palace Jailer, right? So, like, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's, like, that's a very real card that was good for the, the blue-white deck. Oh, turn two Warren Power Stone? Turn three Ravages of War? Is that a thing we want to do? Probably not. It's kind of gross. John Lemon, the estranged step bro broth of John Lennon. Oh man, now we're talking about soups. Hmm. Hmm. Can I go signet next turn and then have one, two, three, four? One, two, three, four. We can go signet next turn. And then play Ravages of War and destroy all the landsies. I mean, they only have two lands, though, so it's not like... It's basically a three for two. Oh, Biscuit City. Take me down to the Biscuit City. Where the biscuits are sweet and the biscuits are pretty. Biscuit City. You got Mana Leak? Remand? Sure. Got me, but not really. So now I am tempted to actually Ravages of War next turn, because we have a lot of manas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we can also just cast Kozilek next turn. Well, I'm not gonna I'm gonna play a land this turn because we're either gonna play one now or next turn. I guess we could have played one post Ravages next turn. Like we're definitely playing Kozilek first. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a turn four Kozilek. Because next turn we can Ravages. Oh, that's sad. I'll get a land. We drew four cards off that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can actually do all the things here. I 
I think they're probably going to want to have saved that. There you go. Float your mana. So next turn we can play Planes, Council's Judgment this guy, get our Blade Splicer back, maybe also one, two, three, four, five, cast Jitte. Nope, oh, nope, don't do that. Then you actually have to choose to cast this card. Yep, there we go. I feel like we're ahead here. Old play Misty pre combat, crack it post combat, immediately concede. A solid strategy. This does not seem like an deck we want Wrath against, but I do like Bane Slayer. Seems fine. What was your favorite standard environment to play? Uh, I think it was actually Lorwyn block, Lorwyn time spiral standard, with like cruel control and like the time spiral deck. Oh, not the time spiral deck. That doesn't make any sense. Um, like the five color deck with like cloud threshers and stuff. Kithkin is in there. Fairies was in there. That was actually a pretty fun standard format. It just felt like you could play a lot of different things. So we just worn Power Stone on turn one? I think so. So we untap with five mana. So we can go Stoneforge and Jitte. Okay. You got it, my dude. Can I animate that a Stoneforge Mystic? Do you have a an equipment? It's a sort of fire and ice. Seems good. Oh, because the mana drain, that's nice. So four cards, let's put this on here, I guess. Well, if they get rid of this, then we get to, you know what? That's a risk we gotta take though. If they get rid of that, actually, they probably won't have enough mana to also equip. And it's also an artifact, so it's harder to get rid of. I guess they could path it. Oh, what are you imprinting here? Resto. Time warp. 
Okay, so you have one card in hand. You still have one card in hand. Seems good. Well, I guess we're chump blocking here because I don't really want to get... If we don't chump block, they're just going to kill it anyway. So if we actually put the Jitty on this guy, like, we'd have a great blocker. But, um... Yeah, this card's problematic now, isn't it? We also have drawn no blue cards in a counter... No blue lands in a counter spell, which is pretty awkward. Unta unta <laughs> like, uh, reanimating Stoneforge Mystic with uh, Animate Dead is pretty nuts. I guess we're taking four here, and they're going to draw an extra card. How low can this go? I think it's probably one higher, right? Actually, it's awkward because like if I if I put it lower, it doesn't do anything. Higher might be the place. All right, we'll see if that's better. Yep, that card's good. Can we get a Bane Slayer Angel? That'd be gas, right? It's actually pretty good. Well, we either think we're a sword or thief here. Wow, you guys both just try to fast forward the video? That's insane. I wish if we got rid of Animate Dead, we got our Stoneforge back. That's really sad. What's scarier? Them just drawing an extra card and dealing two damage when they can equip this to anything? Or them hitting one of our top three? I think it's probably Thief of Sanity. Yeah, the best of our three cards is probably better than a random one of theirs. I agree with that. It's actually pretty real good. Um... Well, that's pretty solid. So it's like this is the worst of our threats and we should be able to get some amount of damage in next turn with the Jitte, which should put us in better shape. They have three cards. They didn't play anything last turn, right? Like, even if you kill Suntide, we can still double block here, kill this guy and um, get two counters out of it. And we get to keep at least, like, we get to keep the Golem, presumably. Alternatively, this is where they're just like, eh, Wrath of God. Yeah, they're just not, there's not a, any situation where I'm blocking with Sun Titan. I'm pretty sure they're going to wrath the board here. <laughs> Which is weird, because we don't have that many creatures in our deck, so. Reanimate the Blade Splicer. Sure.
Yeah, that's pretty good. But I mean, we still get to attack with this guy. Oh, man, we messed up. No, we didn't. We can get better skill, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, team Faded Karma is the team that I'm on. That is the esports team that I'm a part of. I'm pretty sure we actually want to kill this first so they can't just get a cheap block out of it. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. We actually have a million life there, so I'm just going to Bane Slayer here. We also have Batter Skull in hand, so. I feel like this is a real turning point here. Yeah, they stole our Stone Forge with. Um, they mana drained it, and then they reanimated it somehow. Animate dead. And I think they're conceding, which is what the delay is. And another 2 one, three two ones today, which is pretty sweet. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, check me out at manatraders.com. Uh, you can definitely use the link and the promo code in the description to get 20% off your first three months of any subscription, which is a great deal. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore, and you'll get 15% off, uh, and along with free shipping and free returns. So definitely check those out. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate the support, and I will see you guys next time.